You may be struggling with your mental health and you're not sure where to turn. Well, I've got three mental health tips that are really gonna help you. They're super easy, all natural, and I think you're gonna love them and they'll really help you. Okay, number one, I want you to spend more time outside in natural sunlight. And if you can't actually get outside, depending on where you're at, then I want you to at least sit by an open window. And this is really important. One of the other things you can do is when it's lunchtime, go and sit outside. If you can't sit outside, sit in your car, your friend's car, open up the window. It really has a lot to do with that natural sunlight exposure coming into your eyes on your natural exposed skin, meaning no sunscreen, and take off as much clothes as you can. Maybe you're gonna exercise outdoors a little bit more, take a quick walk, take breaks during the day. This does so much to help to stimulate your brain to be in sync with your environment, with nature. And this is really important for your circadian rhythms, for your leptin signaling in your brain, and for all of your neurotransmitters and your neurochemicals that are happening. And you need to be in that natural environment. So that's really gonna help you, especially if you've got low mood, if you've got anxiety. It could mean that there's a mismatch between what's going on internally with your body and your external environment. So get outside, get some more natural sunlight into your eyes on your skin. Okay, tip number two for another great mental health tip is when you've got those ruminating thoughts. So you keep having scary thoughts and they keep, you know, jumping around in your brain. It keeps coming back. You're worried about something. Ask yourself the question, is it really true? Is that thing that you keep thinking about has it really happened? Is it really true? Most times when we're stressing about something, it's something that's happened in the past, or it's something that hasn't happened yet and it could possibly happen. And we keep thinking about that, stressing us out even more, not great for our mental health. So it's something that you really have to ask that question. Is it really true? Does it really exist? And if the answer is no, which most times it's gonna be no, then you know that potentially it's not something that you should be spending a lot of time thinking about. Now, when it is actually true, something that has unfortunately terrible that has happened, how can you have some resolve over that? And how can you sort of manage your feelings towards feeling better and lifting yourself up that emotional guidance scale to get to that higher level? That's something that I've talked about in other videos. Okay, my third tip as a mental health tip is to try some herbal medicine. So if these other techniques are not working for you, there are definitely natural herbal medicines that have the power. They're known as anxiolytics, so helping to decrease anxiety. Some of my favorites that have been proven to help in the literature, valerian, skullcap, passion flower. I love lemon balm as well. They help to relax the nervous system. And if taken at the right dosage, the right timing, they will not have sort of that hangover and drowsiness effect. They work to help to calm the nervous system, but they're not going to sort of wipe you out in terms of your energy levels when taken appropriately at the right dosage. Now for a list of supplements to help with your brain health, please check out my video, five best supplements for your brain. I'll see you there.